Well, come guys, the new change is here, but it seems after playing a game, there were hidden changes that was not explained within the patch within the game. So here is the full game change. Let's have a look at those. We can see the duo mode, freestyle mode. There's a gel system, which is on the top tab. You can click those. The XP has been changed. I was reminded by a friendly viewer. So the XP curve went from differently. So it's 0, 1, 2. Basically at the start, it's the same. After that, it's 5, 10, 20. So basically you, you used to buy 5, you used to buy 4 XP with 4, sorry. You used to buy 4 XP with 5 gold. Now you buy 5 XP with 4 gold. But this changes the curve according to that. Now what's the difference you might ask? The only difference is you cannot wait. Actually, can you still wait? I'm not sure how they actually work that out. But it seems to be similar to me, but each round you do still gain 1 XP instead of 5 XP. So if you're not leveling on curve, you might be losing out on 1 or 2 XP, I think. But if you're leveling on curve, it's still pretty much the same. So we can go to level 7 and round 17, level 8 and round 21, level 9 and round 26, which is all the same. So yeah, 5 gold for 5 XP. That's the first change. The item drops. The table of items from wave 30 and beyond has been adjusted. So round 30 used to be 70-30. Now it's actually it's a 70-30. I need to double check that. So now it's 50-50 for the Thunderhide. 20 and 80% for the Black Dragon. So a higher chance for tier 4. The For the chores, it's 70 and 30%. What that means is if you have a smuggler, if you defeat the Black Dragon, you get 70 and 30% for tier 5. Yeah, Beast. No one really reaches that far usually. 50-50. And 40, 60 for Roshan. No big change for that one. The, oh, oh, those are the old job. <laughs> this is a new job. So higher rates for the tier 4. And here, oh, the Black Dragon also drops tier 5 now. That's perfect. So yeah, they have moved and shifted things up once. So the chores are 50, 50, 30, 70, 100%. So those are the old, old loot table. This is a new loot table, which give us higher chance to find better items. Most of us survived to the Black Dragon and will want to be rewarded for the tier 5 legendaries, which is very nice. UI changes, you can see lots of UI change. One thing I want to share with UI change is your underlock can also speak during the fight. Make sure you try the voice that and then let me know if you like it. I like the Irish way you're talking. Irish accent. So yeah, a lot more chatty. You have lots of lines for the opponents to hear. Starting the update, we could pick with one of the underlords. The Underlords do use the special resource, which is hyped. You want to look into that, how to gain the most hype as you can. Because they're very tanky, they actually do quite a bit of damage. We don't need to look at most of the new units. If you haven't, check out most of our guides for the previews for those units. Now, Lifestealer was set to be tier 1. He's a tier 3, apparently. So that's one thing. Let's see, what else is there? You do want to check what unit is jailed today. Today, a bunch of units are jailed, and I'll show you guys those after. I was looking for Sven. We couldn't find him. I was like, is he jailed? <laughs> well, I was looking for Sven for so long. I was level 10 for like 10 rounds. I couldn't find Sven. Hero changes. This is the key highlight I want to show you to you guys. Hero changes. Our hero had the health doubled from the current value. So what that means is mages are not that much stronger because mages used to deal with units with burst damage. With your health doubled, the magical damage needs to be adjusted accordingly. But if you double the magical damage, maybe that's too much. Also, there's a bunch of changes with allies. Anti-mage is now from elusive demon hunter to elusive assassin. <laughs> Go anti-mage, backline assassin. Zero mana, mana burn deal. Burst hype for underlord, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I just realized I had the overlay with the chat out. Sorry about that, guys. I took that away. I'm super excited for the patch. So I have to take it away. Let's continue. Anti-Mage is the Assassin now. He also burns Hype for Underlord, which might seem to be small. I'm not sure how the damage scales, but it's good that you're disabling Underlord. But they're really tanky though. Axe is now a Brownie Warrior into a Brownie Brute, which we expected that. Sticky Napoleon. Cell range change from 2 to 1, so it's a nerf to Barrow Rider. Definitely. I could feel my Barrow Rider is doing the same in that game. So Blast Seeker. Changes for Human Dead Assassin to Blood Bond Dead Eye. No longer assassins. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Let's be aware of that. He's a blood bond dead eye. Well, Ogre will be happy. <laughs> I always said blood plus should be a dead eye. Crystal Maiden. 
Oh, tier charge to tier 2. Oh, my. Wait, remove SSR? You what? <laughs> so, Quest Manor is now a tier 2 unit without mana gaining and force bite. In case enemy with eyes forbidding them to move or attack while dealing damage, they can still cast spells, I think. While you are like, you can't move or can't attack, they can still cast spells while dealing additional damage per how many seconds. That's pretty cool. So, she's like a hard stunner. She's like one of the hard stunning mage. But what happened to mage? Mana boost for everyone? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Mage needs their mana cast. They keep off the light. It's like, I, without my girl, who who is gonna give me like my coming coming ha? <laughs> oh gosh, ah, uh, that's gonna be so hard. And hey there, there, thank you so much for the sub, buddy. Welcome, welcome. Oh, eight months as well. Oh, first founder. Thank you so much, buddy. Welcome, welcome. Let's look at this doom. Doom change for alliance from demon warrior to demon brute. That's expected. The Doom cooldown is increased to 20 seconds, so pretty much one fight, he only gets one. He only gets one cast. Eidolons. Rank 3 Eidolons are possible for Primordial 3, and those Eidolons armor change, scales upwards, damage change. They do quite a bit of damage if you look at that. So maybe you could try Eidolons. Enchantress now change from Savage Druid to Savage Druid Healer. That's good, that's a buff to her. Enigma. Enigma is the eighth of shamans. What? Enigma went from Acer Shamans to Acer Primordials. Oh. Old effect, he reduces hacks and increases chance of finding him. So he re stops mana gaining when you are stunned. The new alliance effect. Allied Eidolon now casts mana fires on the killer, stunning them. And this effect, so this is like a mini stun, like the clockwork, but onto one target. This effect lasts two seconds per Primordial level. Target attack 50 damage per Primordial level each time they're stunned. Oh, that's pretty cool. I want to try, I don't know. <laughs> and Midnight Pulse. The damage is scaled downwards massively. Oof. It, they halved its damage. Oh my. Oh, they definitely did big time. So before it was doing 5% per second. Now it does half of that. Even level 2, it's even lower. Oof. I'm not sure. I used the Igdima. I didn't feel anything. So that's a big death. So. Gyrocopter, old ace effect, dead eye gets true strike, which true strike cannot miss. Now the new effect is attack for dead eye units purses the event target deal 100% damage per alliance level to the units behind them. Okay, that's pretty cool. 50 chance of finding them. But how does it work with Bloodseeker? Does he also purses with his mini strikes? It's good to think about it, but only Sniper and Gyro benefits it because Bloodseeker don't survive. At the start, we could try Sniper and Blasica. That's okay. So yeah, Keeper is getting changed back because without Crystal Maiden, it's a little awkward. The Illuminate mana cost change for 150. So, okay, good. So Keeper got a buff. That's good because there's no more Crystal Maiden. Next one, Linda, attack speed increase, tier change for two to three. Ooh. Now sets target unit on fire for five seconds. So, well, increase damage, set target on fire, but uh, is she worth it now? She's back to the uh, I'm not sure stage. Before two costs, she's definitely worth it. Well, if you're going majors, you have to go out later, I think, because of humans. Medusa. Medusa changed from Ace of Scale to Ace of Hunters. Oh, that's. Hallelujah! Ace of Hunters, let's go! All this Ace effect, Grand Scout unit retaliate with all that. New Ace effect, Hunters deal 5% extra damage per Hunter. Oh, oh, this is the back Hunter item, attacking the same target. So this allows for focus fire. I used to run a blight storm with so much damage. Now one moment guys, I'll get back to the chat. Let's finish this part. Let's get back to the chat. Yeah, the nerf the nerf the nick the enigma seems becomes double HP, but it doesn't make sense, guys. <laughs> they want to say, oh enigma don't do double damage because of double HP, but it does the same percentage damage. You don't buff the HP, then you nerf the guy? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> So that's just profit. Alliance change for elusive druid into elusive salmons. Oh, they took a, they took an elusive out of them. So okay, that's just profit. Uh, salmon now. Time for zap zap salmons. Uh, I can't go, I can't go elusive mage because of that. Actually, the necrophone is a pretty big change from heartless warlock to heartless healer. It's definitely weaker. Healer is the weaker version of warlock. 
and healer requires three, so I think healer is adjustment. Only 30% amplify healing. Well, with Necrophone, with Warlock, you just heal so much more by linking units. Holy Knight is now a Human Knight healer, so Holy Knight got a buff. He gets additional effect. I was running a healer team with Dazzle, Holy Knight, and Necro, which is okay. Zen Kid is now from Savage Assassin to Savage Insect. They took another Assassin out of him. I'm not sure about Savages, <laughs> and because of that, Zen King is like so-so right now. But being a Savage Insect, Zen King can be a really good stunner. Tide is an AoE, Zen King is a single line, so that's pretty good. And Shadow Shaman, maximum mana change from 100 to 70, means he casts faster. Cooldown change, reduce cooldown, reduce mana. So Shadow Shaman got a good buff. Slug, Essence Shift. The stolen attack speed changes from 3, 5, 7 to 1, 2, 3. Oh gosh, what, what have we done this game? What happened to my machine gun slug? <laughs> That's terrible. So just our uh, reference how bad it will be. A 2 star slug is okay back then. Now a 2 star slug is even weaker than a 1 star slug. So, well, there goes start, guys. <laughs> PA, Rod Supreme. So PA is still a good SS, I reckon. The stack is gone. We need to test it out. Terrorblade, Demon Hunter, Demon to Demon and Hunter. So notice that they didn't have a dash here. So what they meant is Terrorblade is now a Demon and a Hunter now, which is awkwardly good. I want to try Terrorblade with a Hunter's Hand Medusa. Tiny. Tiny needed a nerf a long time ago. The guy's too strong for one star. So the change to stance is good. The reduce by 5 sec, 0 0.5 seconds. The cooldown change is also good. So not bad, not bad. So trip protector, change from elusive druid to druid brute. Oh, elusive's getting a nerf here. Which means I never used the brute. I actually didn't get a chance to. We should try them out to see how good they are. Warlock. For Bloodbound Warlock to Bloodbound Warlock Healer. Let me pick this speaker a bit. Oof, what have I done? Where are we? Here we are. So he's a Bloodbound Warlock. So basically Warlock added a healer there. That's okay. The Brutal Lines, we've seen this before. He does debuff to the damage and also does uh, flat damage, which is okay. Champion, we've seen that. Insect summons Insects. Spiderlings are constantly strong enemies for the edge of the board. Spiderlings are untargetable. Are Units that deal low damage and have 1 HP. After being beaten by Spider, have 30 chance to miss for 0 0.5 seconds. Spider will replenish on death to a maximum of 12. Uh, okay. So they're untargetable units that deal 1 health. So that means you have to AOE them, I think, against Spiderlings. So, let's see. Brownie, the older lines give HP. Our Brownie units get HP for each kill any of the brownie. Oh, that's a cool one. So before it was that units that came late does not get any HP off. Now if you stack your brownie kills early, you can still be beneficial. But the effect is pretty much halved. So never a single unit is going to be unstoppable, but the whole team is going to be okay. I think I like that, but let's see how strong this is. So imagine you have 50 kills. Now the 50 kills goes all the brownies. The more brownie you have, the more benefits you gain. Dead Eye yeah, additional to standard, that alliance bonus, melee Dead Eye units gave face movement. Face movement means you go through units, not bad. Demon is interesting one, we tried it, really strong. The demon got 50% pure damage, whenever one of the demon cast, sorry, back then it was 50% pure damage, only one demon. Now it's demons cast a spell, for 4 seconds all demons are silenced, and the caster gave 50% bonus pure damage for each allied demon. Oh, I misread this. I thought all demons gain the 50% bonus pure damage. It turns out it has to be the caster that cast with the demons on board, then they gain the pure damage. So what that means is you have to make sure your damage de demon like Shadowfin has to cast fast. Otherwise, if there's only one Shadowfin, it's okay. What I often see is my Chaos Knight cast, Shadowfin silenced, the someone cast again like a Doom, Shadow Fin silenced again, so it reduces his damage output. So, Demon Hunter removed, <laughs> taking up job on the streets afterwards by <laughs> they cleaning up floors. Demon Hunters, they can't hunt for demons. So, elusive. So, old elusive, 25 and 50 percent evasion. Now, new elusive have 10 and 20 percent chance to get 100 percent evasion and 35 attacks before three seconds were attacked. 
Oh, they're like a berserker. <laughs> why, are we, why are we called them elusive? We call them monk berserker. <laughs> so, 100% evasion and 35% attack speed for 3 seconds. That's what means we're going for elusive assassins. Humans. Old humans give human silence. New humans give mana per second. <laughs> I was mentioning about this. So, without crystal main, the mage just wants more humans. Wow, what happens when you fall from grace? Oh my. You can't take fall from grace for humans. Primordials change, we have seen that. Savage change, ooh, they nerf Savage. <laughs> they attack game from 7, 15, 25 to 4, 8, and 15. So I wasn't playing Savage before, not anymore. <laughs> I still don't play, Sav don't play Savages. So, big nerf to Shamans. Shamans have 70% to turn enemy into chicken to hop for 2 and 4 cells. Now they can only turn two enemies into chicken once per battle, which is very weak, I feel. So overall, there's a nerf to shamans, nerf to savages, but most of the other ones stay the same. Elusive is a massive change, we need to try that. Warriors got reduced on warriors, only knights prevailed. <laughs> the knights is a rank up build. New items, assassins fail. With this item, equip hero will attack the enemy underlord if possible. Equip heroes attack against underlords removes 10 hype. That's a lot of hype. So anti mage was doing like 1 or 2, 3 hypes or 4. So this turn hype is quite a bit. So, Celebratory Murder God. So, it is a tier 2 item. Each time the equipped hero gets a kill, generate 20 hype for your underlord. Okay. So this is a pretty interesting item. It's buffing your underlord that gets him to cast spells faster. Or her. I haven't seen this item before, but interesting. Big time contract, double health bonus. Not bad. Actually, talk about health bonus. Scrappies are going to be strong because Eventus scales with health and that means they're the only ones that scales with damage. Okay, I like that. Pretty smart. So, increased health, all the health gain doubled, for our grace is removed. Oof, that's enough to the knights. <laughs> well, at least knights got humans. Healing ward, healing per second increased, heart of chakras, health bonus increased. Mechanism healing increased. Tomb, change from 20 armor to 10 armor. That's a nerf to the tomb. Venga double health, vitality double health. So that's all for this comprehensive patch review. What I feel like is we need to do more testing, but it's important to know what has changed. I was just playing, I was like, hey, I ain't got no Elusive no more. <laughs> I ain't got no Warlock no more. And things were so different because there was so much more health. And let me know what you guys think about this comprehensive patch change. It's so big and it's taking a massive amount of time to read through, but I like it. I like the mixing things up, I like the new underlords, really happy about it. So let's get back into the game, and if you guys like my reviews and guides which will be coming, please subscribe onto YouTube, and follow and subscribe to support me on Twitch. Thank you, thank you guys.